hey guys welcome back to the channel and in our last video we finished that bench model and today we are going to texture it in substance painter so we're going to start with creating a new document let's take our obj file which we exported from maya now let's bake the mesh maps i'm going to take the resolution 2k and uh, anti aliasing to 4x4 also i'm going to check this option use low poly mesh as high poly mesh and increase the secondary rays of ao and uh, bake so our maps are done we're using a texture from quixel bridge so i'm going to import all these texture maps to substance painter and define them as textures and import in my project or in your current session so we are going to use these texture maps and some materials from substance painter to create our own blend of material so i'm going to take a new fill layer to use all these maps and i'm going to go to this base color and drop it here in this base color slot and repeat the same thing with their respective slots here so this is the roughness which goes here and i'm going to disable this metal and height channel so we have uh, this base material here so i'm going to use another smart material so let's take this wood chest and we are going to do some modification in this texture so what we can do is we can go to the fibers and uh, change the rotation so we're gonna have to create a duplicate of it and uh, again change the rotation for these sides so i think in the seat and this back it is fine so again i'm going to go to this uh, wood fiber and rotate the texture here as well so let's select this and add a black mask go to the polygon fill and i'm going to select this uh, mesh fill here and select all the areas which has these uh, these horizontal fibers and i'm going to create a duplicate of this layer and uh, select the mask then go to polygon fill and press x to remove everything and then press x again to set it to this fill option and select all the remaining parts now open this and again go to the base this fiber change the rotation to 90 and uh, do the same thing with this pattern so now this looks much better i'm going to enable this and blend this texture with these ones so let's select this i'm going to go with the exclusion and also turn down the opacity something like this maybe 50 so now we have this blend of these textures now i'm going to take a new fill layer and uh, disable color metal and normal increase the roughness add a black mask and add a fill look for scratches select this scratch map now we have some scratches here let's go back to this layer and you can uh, decrease the height to add some depth increase the balance
and tiling. Turn down the opacity if it looks too strong. So we are going to take a new fill layer and add a black mask then go to generator and we're going to add a metal edge wear. Go back to this layer and go to base color and we're going to change the base color to something like this. And we're going to increase the well level. You can add the roughness. And at last, uh, we're going to add some dirt here. So let's go to the materials and we're going to take this rust material. Drop it here. Or maybe this rust fine. Go to your smart mask and in the smart mask search for sand. And we're going to use this. So drop it here on this layer. Go back to this rust material and change its color. Something like this and I'm going to increase the tiling. And decrease the opacity. Now I'm going to add another generator here and select this dirt and change the blending mode to linear dodge so that these two masks can work together. Also decrease the opacity of this. Now if you want to add more dirt to the side what you can do is you can add a paint again change the Blending mode to linear dodge and take a brush and then you can manually paint like this. And then turn down the opacity. So our bench texturing is done. Let's render it out and see how it looks. So this is the final output and we're going to end this tutorial here so if you have any query regarding this tutorial you can ask them in the comment section or you can join my discord server or follow me on the instagram. So the texture I used was from Quixel bridge so if you have Quixel bridge you can use that texture or you can totally skip that out and use the default material in substance painter. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.